Hey everybody, it's the Mad Master here. I'm doing a third video for the day. And this video is about Kyle Kalinske, who I've done several videos about now. Sort of in defense of him, but this time I'm going to have to call him out about this hypocrisy that he has. Um, he, as people know, or probably, or some people might know, he's pretty good friends with Joe Rogan. And Joe Rogan has gotten a, a pile of trouble lately for various things, which uh, rightfully or wrongfully, you know, run, run. I, sometimes, sometimes Joe Rogan is cringe, I'll admit, but overall I think he's like the best interviewer or commentator since, I think he's the most important one since Larry King. I think Howard Stern was almost in the running for that, but he kind of just went to whatever niche that he became. And unfortunately, that's not the case anymore with Howard Stern, but I think uh, Joe Rogan takes that mantle from Larry King. As far as in the future, we're going to be looking back on that. Him as that, as that, the next, this generation's Larry King. So that said, Kyle Kalinske has been on his show numerous times. So has Jimmy Dore, so have uh, several other people. Um, and recently there was a segment on Secular Talk, Kyle Kalinske's a uh, channel about Jim Brewer and Jim Brewer's you know going on Tucker Carlson and talking about the certain mandates that he doesn't want to play places for and I'm just thinking to myself well hasn't uh, Joe Rogan said similar things in the past about this you know and there's been some soft attacks from Kyle about Rogan but he he was very much way more uh, directly attacking Brewer than he would I see Joe Rogan. And this is a problem with Kyle Kalinske. If you're friends with him, he'll be like, oh, I'm going to be, I guess, you know, unconsciously he's soft on his friends, like Chan Cougar, Joe Rogan, you know, totally opposite, uh, you know, points of view in that case, but nevertheless. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's coming to this place where you know, I think Kyle Kalinske is kind of, you know, I did resubscribe despite my video said I unsubscribe because I thought one of his last videos about Biden's speech was complete nonsense. And I, I just, I don't usually, I really don't usually like find a lot of flaws in Kalinske's videos or his commentary. This is a, like the last couple months, it's been way more. And I don't know, I don't think that's because I'm like becoming a right winger or something. It's just because he is kind of going more mainstream-ish in some ways. I don't know if it's just age or what he's looking to do or whatever, or just, you know, he's been a little too soft on Biden at times. And he's just, I don't know what it is. Or maybe he's just chatting with Chank and Chank is kind of brainwashing him. I don't know, but it's disturbing. And I think we should call out hypocrisy where we see it. You know, I, I don't think uh, his take on Jim Brewer is, I think his, his take on and Joe Rogan versus Jim Brewer is totally out of scale. Because I think uh, when he attacks Jim Brewer for a lot of the things that Joe, Joe Rogan says, he just seems like an idiot because it's like, Oh, you're friends with Joe Rogan and you like to, oh, Jesus, um, you like to, uh, <laughs> sorry about that, my, uh, the little, uh, camera thing almost fell. But, uh, the, the impetus to criticize J Jim Brewer, he should be equally, with equal aplomb, be criticizing Joe Rogan for a lot of the same opinions about the, uh, certain, uh, Maxine as I call it, because <laughs> I, certain Max Ian, because I use code words on YouTube because of their uh, very censorious uh, dictatorial policies as of the last three or four years, unfortunately. Sorry, sorry, Susan, if you're watching this, I, I'm sorry. I apologize. But yeah, I don't like, I don't like this hypocrisy from anybody, you know. And to be fair, like, I'm glad that he kind of like, will has faith i mean maybe that means he has faith enough in rogan's opinions that he doesn't think that he's a total idiot or something when he talks about this stuff but when he just kind of goes off on jim brewer in that recent video it's just it's just really intellectually dishonest 
And I think we need to be consistent, especially right now. There's no consistency with anything, with anything anybody's doing or anything. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Nothing makes sense anymore, you know. Hopefully it will eventually, but it is not. I think a lot of stuff will be revealed in the next couple of months. We're going to be, I, I, like I said, I predicted my video. I, I, I'm expecting the craziest stuff to come out in the next couple of months. I don't, it's going to blow people's socks off, in my opinion. I'm actually kind of excited about it, okay? It sounds weird, but I think there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out. There's going to be a boiling point. It's going to be dangerous. And, you know, I think there might be some danger coming ahead for people, you know, but, you know, I don't necessarily think it's like, you know, civilization ending danger or, you know, like anything like that or anything like Mad Max is going to come, you know, as far as like that kind of civilization or society. I don't think that's going to happen, but there'll be some huge eruptions of things, I, I predict. That's just how I see see things, because things are reaching a boiling point. I mean, just people are getting crazy on all sides. You've got to be like that neutral pillar in the middle, you know, and stand your ground. <laughs> and I guess that's what I'm going to do. I mean, it's just like kind of ridiculous. But yeah, Kyle Kalinske's a hypocrite. Uh, I never thought I'd say that because he was always the most nuanced of any of those progressive commentators, like more one of the most nuanced people. And even some of his less nuanced takes lately still have more nuance than like Rational National or fucking TYT or Sam Cedar or any of those schmucks, right? I used to love Sam Cedar, by the way. And I hated that Matt, uh, what the hell, R R Matt, I forgot the guy on his pot. He was this Matt guy. He was a total chode. He always... This guy talked about, like, the seduction community, like, in a really... Matt Bender, that's his name. He was such a, like, a little bitch, you know? Like, he would talk shit about, like, pickup artists, like, that they were just all a bunch of rapists and stuff like that. Or, you know, people that any, questioned anything about feminism. Like, anything. Any type of feminism were just pieces of, of male shit. It was almost like that, uh, we hunted the mammoth, but, like in real time it was pretty it was pretty it was pretty atrocious so when he they got rid of him they got I guess who they got rest in peace Michael Brooks replaced him that Michael Brooks was a tower towering intellectual above even Sam Cedar and anybody that was on the show pretty much way more intelligent way more nuanced way more intel I don't know what he would say now I might just say fuck you Michael Brooks you're an idiot you know or something I don't know but he, the direction he was going is it's true it's you know everybody talks about people that die young or whatever but it there's always it, it always seems like the people that die young they're just starting their stride of potential maybe 10 years from now michael brooks would be some neoliberal sellout or something but he was the direction he was good was good was direction he was going was good that's all i'm saying but anyway <laughs> went well, totally the other direction so kyle kalinsky get off your high horse about this stuff man i mean it's just like there are legitimate questions about what's going on okay i sent him an article last summer that i wrote from one of my blogs and he i doubt he wrote it read it but i'm not trying to say this is this is the case but jimmy Dore has gotten way more red pilled about a certain subject seemingly after that and i'm not saying that i did it. i don't think i did i think his fan base probably probably had, as a collective kind of pushed him that way but you know it was pretty interesting so yeah it sucks you know when you watch someone for seven or eight years and they're just starting to go this weird direction and you're just like oh man and it happened last year with young trucks i was like what the fuck is going on with these people what are they trying to say what are they trying to do with this channel what are they saying it took me so long to wake up on that but other people are like, well, I stopped watching in 2016. I'm like, whoa, whoop de doo I'm sorry, you know. <laughs> but, you know, it's like Kyle Kalinske, you know, I don't want to ever have to call him Kyle Kalinske, but, you know, the direction he's going, hopefully he'll correct him. Hopefully he'll self-correct. Maybe Biden will push some kind of weird, you know, mandate. He's like, oh, that's a step too far. I don't know about that. And then it'll kind of come to the dark side, so to speak. But anyway, anyway, anyways, that's about all.